What is up guys, Justin here with an absolutely massive garage sale haul. This is probably going to be the biggest weekend of the year for us, at least in terms of the amount of sales that we went to. Um, there was two neighboring towns that were having like town-wide community sales, and there's actually quite a few sales in our town as well, uh, at least on Saturday. So I'm actually going to start out with some stuff we found at a garage sale on Thursday. Uh, pretty much what happened was I woke up and I was putting together a list of sales that we were going to hit on Friday and Saturday. And I came across this Facebook post for a sale that was that it, they advertise video games. So I knew they had a bunch of video games. They were supposed to start on Friday, but the post said that they had opened early on Thursday. So at the time of reading this, I mean, the sale was going on. And as soon as I realized that it was only a few blocks away from my house, I hopped in my car and, and buzzed over there real quick. And luckily, it looked like they hadn't sold any of their video game stuff or anything already. So I kind of got first dibs. They had a bunch of stuff, too. Like I said, they had... Um, uh, DS Lite with some games, they had a PSP and some games, uh, some PS3 games. But what I ended up picking up was a PlayStation 2 bundle. It was actually a complete in box PS2 Slim here. And uh, I'll probably do like a close up of the insides of the box for you guys so you can see what was in there. But it was the system, it had a couple controllers, the, the cords, and it had like a baggie with the, uh, the manuals and I think even the uh, startup disc for the network adapter in there as well. So uh, the box isn't in the greatest shape. Um, the top is a little bit jacked up here. It's got some tape and stuff on there that I could probably get off. So it might clean up all right. But in addition to the system, uh, it also came with a pretty decent stack of games here. So I'll go through these real quick. Um, I'm not going to open every case. Mo most of these were complete. There was like two or three that were missing manuals, um, and they're all in pretty good shape. I mean, the guy took care of his stuff, you could tell. So we got uh, Black, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, Red Dead Revolver, Stuntman, Hot Shots Golf, Fight Night Round 3, GoldenEye Rogue Agent, Grand Theft Auto 3, this is the only one that was really beat up, it's missing some of the plastic on the bottom of the case. Uh, Civil War, A Nation Divided, Madden 10, Spartan Total Warrior, Hitman 2, Call of Duty 2, big red one, uh, Gun, and then there was also a few loose disc games as well. We got Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 2, I believe. Yeah, that's 2. It's enough for resale copy, too. And uh, Resident Evil 4, Greatest Hits. So, the actually, the pricing at the sale was a little bit weird, because all the systems were, like, decently priced. I think the DS Lite was $25. Bucks, uh, the PSP was $30. Bucks. It was a 1000 model. And uh, I believe the, uh, the PS2 was $30 as well. So, not terrible prices for... Uh, you know, for systems, you know, for someone looking just for something to play or whatever, but the DS Lite and the PSP is just a little bit more than I wanted to pay. And all their games were like $5 a piece, um, but they were obviously given better deals if you bought like a whole bundle, a system and game bundle. So I think they had the entire PS2 bundle marked at $60. I was able to talk the guy down to $50 for the system and the games, and I got him to throw in uh, the only DS game that he had that was even worth picking up. Uh, it was a loose cart of Super Mario 64 DS. And this was only priced at $2 anyway, so I would have picked that up regardless, but I got him to throw it into the deal. The rest of the DS games were just like Brain Age and just, you know, Cooking Mama, like just the crap you see all the time. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for 50 bucks. And um, before I left the sale, though, I did make sure to ask the guy if he had any other video game stuff that he might be interested in selling. And he told me that he had a 64 that he wasn't quite ready to sell yet, but he said that he had some games that he, you know, he, he might pick through and that he doesn't play anymore and, and might be interested in selling those. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't want to run in and, and right then and there and, and look for them, dig them out and stuff, but he told me to come back the next morning. So that was obviously our number one destination for Friday morning. There actually wasn't too many sales going on on a Friday here. There was probably like five or six with that being one of them. Um, like I said, that was our main destination. So we got up on Friday and Ryan and I, Ryan actually came out with me on Friday. And so we pulled up to the sale. It was starting at nine o'clock. That's the time they posted. And we rolled up there like 8.50, 8.55-ish. So we were like a few minutes early or whatever. So we walk up there and I waved to the guy, said, hey, I was here yesterday, bought your PS2 stuff. And uh, I was just wondering if you had a chance to dig out those N64 games. And uh, it was kind of weird. He was just like, yeah, he's like, I got him right here, man. But he's like, we're not quite set up yet. So if you could just hang out over here for a few minutes and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show him to you in a few minutes. And I don't know. It was just like kind of like one of those things. It's like, dude, come on. Like, I was here yesterday. I spent 50 bucks. Like, 
they're right there, like, let me look at them kind of thing. But <laughs> like I said, I wasn't going to make a big deal out of it. We were the only people there anyway. So I hung out at the end of his driveway for like five minutes, like a creep, I guess. And uh, eventually he's like, okay, yeah, come check him out. And uh, the day before, he was telling me that he was only looking to get like a few dollars a game or whatever. But um, as I started flipping through them, he was like, yeah, I was probably looking to get like five to eight dollars a game. Uh, I guess he had done some kind of price checking or whatever. So um, I picked out a few that um, that I was interested in here and he also had one Sega Genesis game as well just randomly in there and so I picked up um, this whole stack here and I asked him if he would just do like 15 for the entire stack and he was a little bit hesitant he came back at me with 25 and that's when I put down the Genesis game and said how about you know 15 for just the three N64 games and um, that's when he said he'd do 24 for all of them so I went ahead and paid the 20 for all of them and I think I got a pretty good deal here um, the first one probably the winner of the bunch was uh, Banjo Tooie, and this was the kind of the one that I, I could tell he knew was worth a little bit more. He must have looked it up on Amazon or eBay or something. He, he knew this one was going for a little bit more. Um, that's why he was hesitant to give them to me all for fifteen dollars, I guess. But uh, I grabbed that one. I was actually surprised at how much this is going for now, like twenty five, twenty five, maybe thirty bucks for one in good shape, uh, which is pretty insane. I should be able to get my money back on the deal uh, with just this game alone. And actually, the other two N sixty four games were two that I needed for my collection still. Which, I, I don't even remember the last time I, I found an N64 game for my collection, so to get two of them at the same time was awesome. Um, the first one we got here was Fighting Force 64. And to be honest, I have no idea what this game is. I have never seen any kind of gameplay of it, so I'm sure whatever I put up here is going to be the first that I'm seeing of this. I'm assuming it's a fighting game, obviously Fighting Force 64, maybe like a tournament fighter. I don't know if it's 2D, 3D, or what, but um, regardless, uh, it's in good shape, and I was very happy to get this one for the N64 collection. Cross that one off the list. And then the other N64 game I got was uh, Star Wars Episode One: Battle for Naboo which I believe is the last N64 Star Wars game I needed. Um, of course, I see Shadows of the Empire all the time. I see Episode One Racer all the time. But this one seems to be a little bit more obscure, and i uh, very happy to get this one. And then the Genesis game that he had, uh, again, this was the only Genesis game he had, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, which was in good shape. It's still got the top flap here. And so for $20 for the whole stack, again, maybe not necessarily garage sale prices, but seeing as he knew kind of what they were worth, I think that he hooked me up... Uh, pretty well on that deal so like I said there was only a few more sales going on on Friday and the, we only found stuff at one other sale so we walked up there Ryan went one way I went the other way and I came across a box of Sega Genesis stuff and so whenever I see like a system and game bundle at a garage sale, like my heart starts racing or whatever I start flipping through it and I saw the price tag on the whole box it was 40 bucks so as I'm flipping through the cartridges, they're all loose cartridges, no box games or anything. I'm flipping through them, I'm just like, come on, let there be like two or three games in here that are going to make this lot worth buying. Maybe I can get it for like 30 bucks or something. So I'm flipping through them, just one sports game after the other, sports, 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 until I got to the very last game. I couldn't believe it when I turned it over. Uh, it was a copy of Gunstar Heroes. So I'm sitting there with this in my hand, and I was like, you know what, I really want this game. I'm not leaving without this game, but... I don't know if this alone justifies paying 40 bucks for the whole box. I mean, that still would have been a good deal. Like, you know, this is a pretty expensive cartridge, but it's like, what am I going to do with all the sports games, whatever? So I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe they'll just sell me the one game. So I picked up a couple other things we found actually, and I brought this up to the lady, and I said, hey, you know, I found this in your box of Sega stuff over there. I've already got a system. I was wondering if you'd be interested in just selling me the one game. And at first, she didn't look like she was going to do it, uh, but after like a moment of hesitation, she was like, oh, sure, yeah, how about two bucks? And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Two bucks for uh, Gunstar Heroes, and I don't have to deal with the rest of those sports games and crap. So, very, very cool. Uh, I've never owned this game before. I'd love to get it uh, complete in box for my collection, but even to find a loose card for two bucks, I'm not going to complain with that. And like I said, they had a couple other things at the sale as well. Sitting right next to the, uh, the Genesis box was... Um, these two PlayStation 3 controllers, uh, there is two of them here, they're kind of taped together, um, but they were both, uh, they were priced at $5 for the both of them. And so I don't know a whole lot about PS3 controllers, I know there's a couple different kinds, I think there was like the DualShock and then like the, um, like the 6-axis or whatever, I'm not too familiar with them, but they're both Sony brand, and for $2.50 a piece I figured I couldn't go wrong. I don't, have a, I don't even have a PS3 to test these, but I'll have to use my brothers or something to test them out. But uh, either way, I wasn't going to pass them up for 5 bucks, and then again to get the Gunstar Heroes for 2 bucks. Totally awesome. And that was actually all we found on Friday. 
But like I said, Saturday was the big day. <laughs> there was two uh, neighboring towns that were having community sales. Um, I, I I printed off a list of all the sales and and ended up just disregarding. It. There were so many sales that I just I was just ended up looking for signs and, and going everywhere, just down every street finding sale after sale. Uh, but anyway, I woke up at 6:45 in the morning <laughs> on Saturday because there was a sale that I had been in contact with prior that was opening at 7 a.m. that had told me that they were gonna be selling some Nintendo stuff, like some old Nintendo games. So that was obviously my first priority before I even went to these town-wide sales. And so I rolled up there like right at seven o'clock when they were opening. And uh, right when I pulled up, I actually recognized it as um, the same house, or the same sale that I got the Sega Nomad from last year. It was the same guy that was having another sale. And it was kind of funny because last year when I got the Nomad and stuff, I asked him if he had any other you know, games he was willing to sell, any like old Nintendo or Sega stuff. And he told me that he had some, some NES games that uh, he didn't want to sell yet. And I, I guess now <laughs> he was ready to sell them. So I walk up there and actually sitting on top of a stack of VHS tapes that he brought out was uh, a copy of Circus Caper. Uh, it's actually complete in the box. Uh, the manual and the cartridge are in here in very good shape. And actually the box is in really, really nice shape as well. So obviously I picked this up and I brought it up to him. I said, hey, you got any more you know, old Nintendo games like this? And he's like, yeah, sure. Ran into the house real quick and came out with um, a stack of loose cartridge games here and just told me, he's like, yeah, I'm just looking to get a dollar a piece for them. So um, there's nothing spectacular in this stack, but for a dollar a piece, I wasn't going to complain. I, I do hear a rattle though. Something's got something loose in it. But uh, anyway, we got uh, a five screw copy of Soccer. Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt World Class Track Meet. Baseball, uh, Tag Team Wrestling, Top Secret Episode, GoGo13, and finally a five screw copy of Tennis. And again, at a dollar a piece, there's no way I was saying no to any of these, especially the Circus Caper. I definitely don't have this one complete yet, so I'm very happy to get this one. And oddly enough, he also had a PlayStation Vita game available that he also sold me for a dollar. It was uh, Unit 13, which was uh, complete and... Uh, it's in nice shape, so I figured, you know, I don't think it's a real expensive uh, Vita game by any means, but for a dollar, wasn't going to pass that up. So, from there, I was on my way to actually pick up my cousin. Um, actually, I was on my way to Burger King to buy us uh, breakfast. I figured it was the least I could do is buy him breakfast for waking him up at 7.30 a.m. to be my backup at the garage sales. And on my way to Burger King, I came across a sale that um, was just finished setting up. Uh, I didn't even have it on my list to go to, it was just one that I happened to see. And uh, I walked up there, and it was like a middle-aged lady and her husband or whatever, and they asked if I was looking for anything specific, and I asked if they had any video games. They told me they had a PS2 in the house, they hadn't even brought it out yet. So the husband ran in and um, grabbed the PS2 system for me. It came with a few games as well. They didn't really know what they were asking for. They, they told me to make an offer. I offered him 10 bucks for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a little low, but I figured we could work from there. He came back at me with 20, and uh, we ended up settling on 15 for everything. So. Here is what we got. We got the PS2 fat system here with uh, the cords all uh, tangled up. Actually, it doesn't look like it has a power cord, just the AV cord here, but uh, that's not a problem. I've got a ton of power cords that'll work for this system. And then it came with a couple controllers here. Um, this one's a first party Sony controller. And then some weird looking storm, storm chaser pad thing I don't know we'll see uh, we'll see if that even works uh, there was a memory card in the system there as well and um, like I said it came with a, a few games here um, first of which was crazy taxi we got smugglers run Madden 2002 and finally uh, GTA Vice City so the whole bundle for 15 bucks uh, definitely a nice spontaneous score like I said that, that sale wasn't even on my list of sales to go to it's just happened to be one that I, that I came across on the way to Burger King. So anyway, uh, picked up my cousin and we headed off to the next town over to hit up um, all the sales that were going on. And I'm having a, <laughs> I hit so many sales, like normally I'm really good about remembering every sale I go to, what I bought, like where it was, like what I paid for kind of thing. But there were so many sales that we hit um, that I'm having a hard time remembering exactly where and when we picked all this up. But I'm going to do my best to do this in chronological order for you guys. So. I think the first finds in the next town over were a couple uh, 360 games here, and uh, they're nothing special. It's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1, and uh, Create Your Imagination Unlocks a World of Play, I guess? I don't know. 
but uh, they were only a dollar a piece, so I had no problem whipping out two bucks uh, to give to them for these. I, this is the only games I had. I asked them, they said they didn't have any other games, so I grabbed those two. Uh, I think the next find was actually, um, actually my cousin spotted this out. We, there was like an area where there's like three sales. I went to two of them, and he went to one of them, and he came running back. He's like, yeah, they got a DS over there with some games, so I, I hustled over there, and um, I saw this bag of DS stuff here. It was priced at thirty dollars, so I was like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not—I don't want to pay that for a DS. But when I opened it up, I realized that it was actually a um, a 3DS system. I think it's the Crimson one. This one's called. Uh, but yeah, it is a 3DS system there. And I mean, it's a little scuffed up and stuff, but it should clean up all right. It still had a charge, so I was able to test it at the sale. Um, I threw one of the games in it, and um, it—it uh, seemed to play fine. I haven't fully tested it yet, so I'm still cr kind of crossing my fingers. But um, but yeah, 3DS system there, and then it came with, um, it had the the charger in here, and then there was just a few games, actually most of these are original DS games. Um, the only 3DS game in there was, of course, Madden Football. I don't even know what year this is, this one didn't even have a year on it, apparently. I guess it was the only one they made for the 3DS. <laughs> I doubt that, but that's kind of funny. And then the rest of these were just regular DS games. Uh, funny enough, there was two copies of the same game in here. Uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. Two copies of that, I don't know why. And then we got uh, Backyard Baseball and uh, Major League Baseball 2K11. So like I said, it was priced at 30 bucks. Um, I walked up there, I asked if they were firm on the price, um, and the lady said, you know, what you know, what do you want to pay for it? I offered her 20 bucks, um, and she came back at me with 25, which I felt was fair, seeing as it was, you know, a 3DS system. Um, I don't know what the Crimson one's going for now, but I'm pretty sure as long as it's working and everything, that uh, 25 bucks for the bundle was a, a pretty good deal. So uh, I can't complain there. That's the first 3DS I've owned in a very, very long time. Uh, I don't even have one myself yet. I mean, I think if I ever find one, like, complete in the box or something, I'll probably hold on to it. It, but um, I don't know, we'll find something to do with that. Um, all right, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> there was another sale that uh, had a copy of iCarly for a dollar, so I picked it up uh, because it was factory sealed. Uh, enough said about that. Um, moving on, there, uh, there was another sale that had um, some, some other DS games. It was like a bunch of little girls games and um, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. There's only one I felt was worth picking up. It was two bucks, I gave him two bucks for that. And then, let's see, I think the next score came, um, not in that town, but the next town over from that, which was also having like a community sale, uh, I came across, I, I walked up there and I didn't see anything like that even remotely video game related, but as I was walking away from the sale, up where they were like keeping their money and stuff, I saw this Game Boy bag, and it said uh, Game Boy with games $10. So. Once again, my heart starts pumping. I was like, what could be in this case? It felt a little light. I knew there wasn't like it wasn't full by any means, but I opened up the case here. And inside was a purple Game Boy color. Which I believe I was able to test at the sale. Yeah. Still had batteries in it. I hope they're not corroded. Uh, no, they look fine. And um, it powered up at the sale, played uh, played one of the games that was in here, so I figured uh couldn't go wrong with that. It was uh screen's got a little bit of scratching on it, but um, not too big of a deal. And then there was a few games in here as well. Um, I saw the uh, yellow cartridge, got all excited, and it only ended up being Donkey Kong Land. But still, very, very cool to get that. Um, uh, we got a copy of Wario Land 2, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, which I believe that must be a Game Boy Color game. And then uh, Asteroids, which I think I already have. I'll have to check on that, though. And anyway, so normally stuff like this where it's priced evenly at like $10 or something, I'll usually just go ahead and pay the $10 because, you know, I kind of feel like a dick sometimes if like, you know, you, you kind of haggle them down from $10 and then you, you know, you give them a 10 and you want, you know, three or $4 change or whatever for it. But um, I had a bunch of, I had a ton of like ones and stuff in my wallet. So I asked the guy if he was firm on the price and he said he'd gladly do it for $7. So I, think I gave him seven ones. Um, so that was a pretty good deal there. Uh, moving on next to... <laughs> Probably what was my favorite find of the day. Uh, it might not be like the most expensive thing I found or whatever, but this was probably my favorite thing of the day that I found. I walked up to this sale, and right when I got to the end of the driveway, I saw this box sitting there, and I just hustled over to it. <laughs> um, it ended up being uh, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix for the GameCube in the uh, the big box here, because I already had I already had the pad and the the game, but I didn't have the box for it, so. 
I, uh, I opened this up, and actually, funny enough, when I first opened this box, it had some random, like, Mad Cats dance pad in it, but sitting on the shelf right above the box was um, the actual Mario, Mario dance pad here, which I, after, like, a half hour, I finally figured out how to make it fit in this box. So, <laughs> I just, I brought it up to the to the people that were having the sale, I said, hey, look, you know, I, I I think this is the pad that's supposed to go in the box. I'll gladly buy it if you know if I can switch the pads. They're like, oh yeah, we must have just mixed it up or whatever. So the pad was in there along with uh, the game, and um, unfortunately, I think, yeah, the game was missing the manual. But the copy I already have has the manual in it, so I'm not too concerned about that. I was just mainly happy to get the uh, the box here. I've seen it around at a few stores and stuff, and I just I don't know. Never picked it up. It was never the right price. But this was only two. Let's see, where's the price? Two dollars up there. I uh, I could not believe that. And uh, actually, there's something else in here too. What, what is this? Uh, looks like it's some kind of adapter. I guess you can use this mat for the PS2 as well, according to this thing. I don't know exactly how that works, but it's cool that it was still in there anyway. So yeah, for two bucks, it's probably my favorite find of the day. Like I said, not maybe not the most expensive thing I found, but the coolest thing that I get to add uh, to my collection for the day, right there. Okay, so moving on. What's next? Okay. I think that was the entirety of what we found in like the, the community town-wide garage sales. Then I, then I headed back into our town, and at this point it was like already like like noon. Um, and I'm, I'm never even usually garage selling past like 10 a.m. Like usually I'm way long done by then. So the fact that I still had probably 25 sales to hit in our town at noon was crazy. Uh, I dropped my cousin off, he had some stuff he had to do, so I was flying solo for the last couple hours. But um, I came up to one sale that I remember I had seen um, advertising an Xbox 360 and games and when I walked up there I didn't see a system anywhere I don't know if they had already sold it or you know didn't even put it out or whatever I didn't really care they still had some games left over there and I ended up picking up these three here um, all their games were four dollars a piece I think I definitely picked up the three better ones um, and I was able to get all the three of these for ten dollars uh, we got Dead Rising 2 which is a Capcom title which I believe I'm gonna hang on to for my collection uh, these were all in really nice shape too so probably gonna hang on to that one the other two I got were uh, Halo Reach and uh, Halo 4 and what kind of intrigued me about this one is it says it's uh, not packaged for individual sale um, assuming this might have been like a pack-in with um, I don't know did they ever make a Halo 4 system bundle they might have I'm not exactly sure maybe it came bundled with something else I'm sure somebody knows and can let me know down in the comments but uh, yeah all three of those for 10 bucks I think I passed on like a Fable 3 they had um, and uh, they had a couple other cheaper games that I passed on, but 10 bucks for those three, pretty good deal. Um, I think these two were next. These are kind of embarrassing finds too, at least one of these. <laughs> I went to, there was, a, there was a subdivision that was having a sale and I rolled up there and I've never found anything like that in this subdivision. It's, it's kind of like a higher end neighborhood, a um, bunch of younger kids and stuff. So I don't know, they, they never have game stuff. Uh, I managed to find two PS1 games uh, for a dollar each. Uh, we got Creatures. And we got Mary Kate and Ashley Winner's Circle. Let the joke start now. <laughs> Seems like every time I, I pick up this game, no matter what it is, someone's got to drop a comment and you know make fun of me for it or whatever. But it was a dollar, and um, I don't know. Thinking back, maybe I shouldn't have bought it. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. I got it. Um, so there's those two, and then I believe the next finds here were. This is probably this is probably my, my least favorite, or the worst purchase of the day, without a doubt. Um, it was another sale that I didn't have on my list to go to, but I saw a sign for it. It was kind of out of the way, but I decided I'd go, and I ended up driving down some like random dirt road or whatever, and pulled up to the sale, and um, I was looking around. They didn't really have any video game stuff. I saw one like sports Xbox game in the bottom of a box somewhere that I just kind of passed on, but. Uh, they asked me if I was looking for anything specific, and I asked if they had any video games. They looked like the kind of people that might have some video games or whatever, and like I said, I was like, I saw that Xbox game over there, I figured you might have some more video games. And the, the guy was like, yeah, he's like, oh, I might have a couple of original Xbox controllers. And so I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so one of those things where, like, I don't know, like, they didn't have them out, I didn't really want to make them go in and get them unless I was going to get, like, a deal on them or whatever. He said he wanted, like, five bucks for them, and kind of without it, yeah, I was, well, I was about to just walk away, but he ran in the house and he was looking for them real quick. So he came out with these two original Xbox Xbox controllers. Uh, one of these, this one's a Pelican brand, and it's all junky. I mean, it doesn't even have like the rubber on the joysticks or anything. Um, this one here was actually first party, but again, it's not in very good shape. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, at least they both had the connector cables on the end there. Um, 
Anyway, so he said he wanted five bucks for those. I asked if he had any games, and he was like, yeah, you know, I think I might have a couple games. So he ran back in the house, came out with the, with these, uh, well, two of these games. Like I said, one of them I already saw out in the bottom of a box. But he had these two. Um, he had Need for Speed Most Wanted and uh, Halo 2 in absolutely dreadful condition. I mean, <laughs> the Halo 2, I mean, I looked at it, and I, I told him, I was like, you know what I mean? I was like, does this play? Like, do you know if this plays? Because, I mean, it's pretty scratched up. Um, the case is pretty beat up, and this Need for Speed Most Wanted has like, I don't even want to touch it. It's got like pop or some sign sign of kind of soda spilled on the bottom of it. It's all sticky and crap. I don't know. Anyway, I think he wanted like ten bucks for everything, and I was just like, I told him, I was like, you know what, dude? I, like, I was like, I don't even sure these are gonna play. Like, I'll take them, but like, I probably have to get them for pretty cheap. And anyway, I, I got him to go down to six dollars, and he threw in the one sports game that I'd seen prior. So, I don't know, kind of regretting that purchase. I guess even if one of the controllers works, I guess I'll be happy with <laughs> um, But um, kind of a buyer's remorse kind of purchase there. So anyway, um, at this point it was like 2 p.m. Like it was getting really late in the day. Some clothes were, uh, store, um, sales were even closing down or whatever. And I rolled up to this one sale, like right as they were taking the stuff down, I'm pretty sure it was the same sale that I got that box action set with all the box Nintendo games from last year. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it looked like the same house. I just, I didn't see the guy there that I bought it from last year, so I don't know for sure. But they were just taking everything down. It looked like it was going to start pouring rain pretty soon. And <laughs> before I could even like start looking at anything, the lady's like, hey, anything you see that you want, as long as it's mine, you can just have it for free. And right as she said that, I looked to my left, and I'm sitting on top of a, a couple speakers was a console only Model 2 Sega Genesis system. Had a $3 price sticker on it, which I would have, you know, obviously gladly paid. But um, I, I asked, I was like, is this yours? And she's like, yep, take it. And I was kind of like, take it back by it. I was like, are you sure? Like, you know, I can give you three bucks for it. And she's like, she's like, nope. She's like, nope, you just have it. She's like, if you don't take it, it's just going to Goodwill anyway. So, uh, yeah, by the end of the day, people were giving me free stuff at the garage sale, so no complaints there. And then I've got one more find for the day. This is actually kind of funny. Um, it was the very last sale that I stopped at. Again, I think it was another one that I just saw a sign for and happened to, to wind up driving by it. And they had a, a big box. It had like a rock band guitar in it and a bunch of like random like dance pads for whatever games, like the Mad Cats ones or whatever. But sitting right on the top of the box, I couldn't believe this, was another one of these... Uh, DDR Mario Mix pads for the GameCube. And, uh, let's see where the cord is. Yeah, it's got the GameCube end on there. It's just funny. I thought that was hilarious because the pad that I already had, I found at a garage sale like two or three years ago, and then I found <laughs> the one in the box today, along with this one at the last sale. And they were pretty much giving away at this stuff at this sale too. I probably could have you know got this for like a quarter if I wanted to, but she's just like, yeah, no, just give me a dollar for it, and I had no problem giving her a dollar for it. So. Anyway, <laughs> I believe that was all we found for the weekend. Again, absolutely massive weekend. Probably the biggest weekend of the year in terms of how many sales we got to go to. Um, crossing my fingers that it's not the biggest weekend of the year as far as game finds go. <laughs> Being optimistic there. I don't know if we're going to top this, but we're sure as hell going to try. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys for sticking around and checking out the entire video. And until next time, take care.